Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Maya and Rebel's Cooking with Love um, cooking show. So tonight we are going to make this recipe, which is the cheddar broccoli risotto with chicken. And I will post uh, the recipe um, in the description as I always do. And we are using the quick cooker uh, to make this meal tonight. So another of the Pampered Chef uh, power tools uh, basically reduces cooking time by a good 70%. And um, it's a 16 in one pressure cooker, including quick, including slow cooker. So the quick cooker can cook slow. <laughs> anyway, um, it's, um, yes, the 16 functions, everything from um, meat, rice, beans to dessert. Um, also really, really it's built with safety in mind. It's got these lovely handles that make it really easy to pick up. It does not get hot. Um, and, and the lid too, um, is built so that the steam, the button which you press is away from your face. Uh, anyway, so let's get going. I've, I've heated up my oil. So, um, that is, I also doubled the recipe because I like having leftovers. So uh, that's four tablespoons of oil that have already preheated. So it's already on the sear function. So I'm going to put in my onions. This is the mix and scraper, another awesome product. Totally heat safe, goes up to ridiculously high temperature, but I don't remember what it is. So that's the onion, and then we put in our bell peppers. So this is uh, two medium red bell, bell peppers already chopped. Stick that in there. And we got our garlic, also already pre-chopped. Uh, so that's four garlic cloves. Get all that in there. And then we just let this fry up. So um, just I want you to see that here. I'm just going to tilt it so that you can see inside. There you go. <laughs> so while that's cooking, so we just want to cook that for about four minutes, four minutes uncovered. You'll see though, I do have a lid. So the lid is sold separately. So um, that's great when you wanna keep food warm, but also afterward, you can just stick your leftovers directly in the fridge with this lid. Um, the other thing, there's, there's actually a few things that you can buy uh, separately with this uh, pressure cooker. Um, uh, one of them is um, this ceramic pot. Uh, which has this flexible silicone lid. And uh, basically what this allows you to do is you can cook multiple things all at the same time. So you can cook your meat on the bottom and then you actually can cook your potatoes or your rice or your vegetables uh, at the same time. So this just fits, I'm not gonna do it right now, but it just fits right inside. Um, there's also, um, there's also, you can do a lovely cheesecake in here. So there's a, a separate spring corn pan that you can buy. And another, there's also a fluted cake pan that you can get for this. Um, yeah. So another thing, I mean, as I said, you can cook from frozen, right? So you can buy a whole bunch of chicken breast on sale. And when you haven't figured out what you're gonna do for dinner, which I do all the time, you can just take out a frozen chicken breast and like in under 15 minutes, it will cook. If you double the recipe, you do not have to double uh, the cooking time, but you do have to adjust it at uh, the amount of time under pressure, just depending on your chicken breast. You just stick it in there with like some chicken broth, frozen, separated, but frozen. And then you can add your seasonings uh, like garlic powder and oregano. Actually, Pampered Chef uh, has a whole, love, uh, whole line of seasonings. 
And some of them, I mean, I haven't tried them all to be honest, but the ones that I have tried are super yummy. So this would be great. This is the lemon garlic. Just stick it in, just season it with that, salt and pepper, and uh, put the lid on and like under 15 minutes, your, your dinner is done. This is also, there's chili lime, Jamaican jerk. Yeah. Anyway, all sorts of fun things to try. So this is just cooking away here. Probably one more minute. So I am in the, uh, I'm gonna turn this off. Um, and I will be right back. So I'm back. Now I'm going to add the rice. So this is all, all uh, nicely uh, seared. Now I'm going to add the rice. So the rice is, uh, how much rice? How much rice? Oh, sorry. So two cups of uh, uncooked arborio rice. In we go. And now we're going to stir that around. Going to give that rice just a little bit of a fry. Oh, wait a second. All right. And then I, now I'm going to press cancel on this. And I am going to change the setting to uh, white rice. So white rice, white rice is right back down there. So oh, it's hard to see when it's not facing me. There we go. Start. Gonna give this a mix. Now I'm gonna add the chicken, which has been lovingly pre-cut, and I'm gonna use my handy handy scraper. Get that off the cutting board. There we go. Give this a mix. Now I'm going to add the broth. I'm actually I actually need six cups of broth. This is um, this is three, so I need to double that. Another three cups. More or less, right? It's not. Uh... <laughs> It's only in baking where you have to be really precise. <laughs> and then we need the mustard. So we actually need two tablespoons of mustard because we have doubled this recipe. I'm using my adjustable measuring spoon with the right. Use it every day. There we go. Now I give that a mix. Get all nicely mixed up. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. Hold on here. Oh, salt. Don't forget the salt. This is one uh, teaspoon. Okay. So now, we can lock the lid and press start. It's hard to do. When I... <laughs> there. And we press start. And there we go. And now it uh, takes a bit, a few minutes to come to pressure. 
but uh, it'll get there. Now I have to make sure that these guys are both up and the little, uh, you can't see it, but um, these, these little two, there's two little diagrams that have to be facing each other. And so when it comes up to pressure, this little, there's a red button here. Come on, I can do that. Anyway, there's a red button here and uh, it pops up. So then you know that it's under pressure. And that's it. So we are going to let that cook and then uh, I'll be back in uh, just a few minutes. So this is going to ring any second out. You hear it? There you go. So uh, we put this on. So we did double the recipe. We put it on at 940 and it is now 1010. So it did take 30 minutes. Once it came up to pressure though, it was like two minutes. <laughs> so the time it took is just for it to come up to pressure. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to press cancel. And now I am going to release the steam button right over here. But you see how it's not even close to my face, right? Oh, it's kind of exciting. See that? And that was like... <laughs> That's a lot of steam. <laughs> <laughs> so we just let that, let all the steam release, and, and then uh, I'll open the lid. And then we can put in our broccoli. So we have two cups of broccoli florets. We have two cups of grated sharp cheddar cheese. We've got four ounces of cream cheese. And uh, then we're going to stir that up. And then um, I'm going to uh, put it back to sear. So just cook a little bit, like five minutes uncovered. And then at the very, very final step, I'm gonna, I'm gonna can press cancel. And the very final step is adding the lemon juice. You don't wanna cook lemon juice. Um, and one thing I did forget to tell you, um, or another thing that you can do in this uh, quick cooker is uh, proof bread. And then, if you um, if you put your bread in um, the ceramic cooker, this is oven proof. So then your bread can go directly in the oven to bake. Now I have to. We haven't tried that yet, but it's definitely a must try. Yeah. So this will be interesting, right? So it's, uh, it's still working. I, I'm not going to try to release it until uh, I don't see any steam. That was a lot of steam. I think I need a glass of wine. Um, here, I'm going to get the... <laughs> there we go. That's the wine. Vintage ink, whiskey barrel aged red, Niagara Flint Peninsula. Let's see. Hmm, nice. This is the bottle. Oh yeah, the other thing is, you guys, I didn't point it out, but the red, the red button here was was up, meaning it was under pressure. Now it's down because there's no more pressure. And now I can release the lid. It wouldn't, uh, there we go. Here, I'm just letting that trip a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my, oh, actually, um, Gonna press the cancel, I already did that, right? Now I'm gonna put this on to sear. Sear is all the way at the other end. <laughs> After the 16 settings start. Okay, so now it's back on sear. 
Gonna give this a mix. Mmm. That looks good. Here, hold on. Can't show you. Can you see? Hold on. Yeah, I don't really wanna. Uh, can you see that? Anyway. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, so the broccoli. Now we're gonna wanna cook this for about uh, five minutes. And then, ooh, it's boiling, it's boiling the cheese. And the cream cheese. And like I said, the, um, the lemon is the final, final step. Okay, so this needs to cook for about five minutes. So obviously the more liquid you have in the pressure cooker, the more time it takes to get up to pressure. So that's why, sorry, it took almost half an hour to come up to pressure, but the cooking time was like two or three minutes. Okay, so now I'm just gonna let this cook and I am gonna pause this or else you're gonna have to watch me drinking wine for five minutes. <laughs> okay, back in five. Okay, so um, it cooked, it's done. I put the lemon juice in, stirred it up, and uh, I already served my plate. And there it is, there's my risotto. It's supposed to have the flow of like lava, more or less. So now I'm going to try this. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Yay! Okay. Have a good evening, guys. Thanks for watching. And it's it's Saturday, so have a good weekend. Bye.